morning. Welcome to the third annual Artist and Studio Tour here in Rancho Mirage. My name is David Bryant. I'm the director of the Rancho Mirage Public Library and the city's liaison to the Cultural Commission. So this is a day for art in Rancho Mirage, very special day. We're so glad you joined us. Have a great tour. You have a map, plot out your day, and you'll have a terrific time with a lot of surprises. Now you'll have at least nine or ten homes to go to today, and it's your choice how many you go to. You'll also have a pop-up gallery here at City Hall as you register to see some additional artists. You'll see here to my left a painting that I actually commissioned. This young mother in Soho bringing her daughter to school for the very first time, Laura Manhattan, is feeling the excitement that we hope all of you feel today. So have a great time, have a great tour. Thanks for coming. I'm Lauren Harris Heller, and um, these are is my this is my new series, uh, Sunflower series, and um, I'm new to acrylics. I had a very traditional training um, with uh, oil painting, and then I switched to watercolors. And so this new departure um, with the acrylics is I went to the art store and found 20 tubes of yellows, cadmiums, yellow, lemon yellows, oranges. And um, I started the Sunflower series. Um, this is a figurative piece with um, a little autobiographical with me and my two children in a sunflower field. Um, this is just a pure field. And then I'm really into form and color and, and really the juxtaposition of complementary colors, the yellows and then the blues and the purples that complement that. And um, some are sketches, some are finished pieces, um, a lot in progress, but they're 20 in the series right now. And it's keeping me busy, so a uh, long journey ahead. With, with the acrylics um, coming from the watercolors, where with the transparency um, in the acrylics, I've learned to do glazing, which is just layering one color on top of the other, and it gives an intensity that you don't often get in the oils. So um, it, it's just thin washes of color over each other. Um, when I start a piece, I have this big, huge canvas in front of me and I just go for it. <laughs> so I just recently moved to Rancho Mirage and I, I'm so enamored with the light. It's just pure white light. And I just always wanted to be a painter. The drawing, <laughs> comes from when I was little. I was never into Barbie dolls. I just always had to have my coloring in books and crayons, even when I was two. We could never leave the house without my, my crayons. And I just always wanted to be a painter. You know, art is knowing when to stop. And, and I think I've said enough in these paintings. Okay, that's the story. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of uh, color fields and paintings on canvas, which is a little switch. I used to work on plywood, and from there I switched to uh, multi-dimensional work. I did uh, found object sculptures, um, some of the guitars and typewriters I made. But lately I've been doing uh, color field work uh, using a lot of stripes. I was always influenced by an artist named Morris Lewis. I said, how did he do that with those washes? and I've been experimenting with different forms of, uh, of, of applying color through stripes, some of them drips. For the, well, first I try to do something that I would like, and then the big test is I show it to my wife, Karen, and of course if she likes it, I think I'm onto something, and if not, she'll tell me. Uh, but basically what I try to do is with the colors. I try, the color and design is what I try to go for. I love light, even if it's cold outside, even if it's hot outside. I love, I love the, uh, I just love bright and it reflects in the colors that I use in my paintings. The found object work I do comes sort of naturally to me. I've been doing it for years and it's more whimsical in nature. And the paintings, it's not like they're somber in nature because they're colorful. I've always been an intuitive person and most of the times I just wake up, I say, I think I'll do this or I think I'll try this. And I do it, if it doesn't work, 
I paint over it and it turns into something else. I would like to just have people come in and find out the, the peace and, and beauty side of, of life. And that's what I try to achieve in the paintings that I do. One of the most exciting things I'm working on, I think, is the doing mid-century modern paintings, since that's such a popular genre here in the desert. So I work in oils. Um, my foremost inspiration is 19th century landscape painters. I use layers of glazes to get a sense of the light coming through the painting, and, and I like paintings that have a glow to them and, and real uplifting light. I've got all these canvases that are prepped and ready to go, and I don't even start painting on them until I wake up that morning and I can actually envision what that painting is going to look like when it's done. My major focus really is to um, create a lot of atmospheric perspective. I want the viewer to be able to really enter into the painting and feel bathed in this up uplifting light. One thing that I do a lot with paintings is I, I like to have them be three quarters or more sky and then just a little bit of land and then I like a real strong sense of going into the painting. Summer is my favorite time. I just, I love, I love the heat and um, I just, I feel like it's, I've found my paradise. I feel quite blessed to be able to take photos of both golf and landscapes and, uh, for, for a living. And a 10,000 mile trip we did this summer in our RV for four months and drove from Rancho Mirage to Denali National Park and back. Coming back through Banff, Jasper, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone and Teton and then back to basically back to Rancho Mirage. For transitioning into doing some of our golf beautiful landscape work uh, and tradition and, and putting it into the national park landscapes and just to see what will come of it and we're quite excited to show to share that with people. In February of 2001 moved into Rancho Mirage and, and, and haven't regretted it a bit. I love it. I love the desert. I love Rancho Mirage. It just seems less crowded than Down Valley. Things seem to flow here a lot faster and you can get to Palm Desert and where it's Palm Springs and you're right in the middle and the airport's only six miles away. What's not to like? And I live right across from Mission Hills Country Club. Yeah, I love it here, you know, I do, I absolutely do. My name is Evie Wexler. Um, I'm both a photographer and a painter. I work in, if I'm painting, I work in acrylic, and if I'm doing photography, I have a, um, a new Nikon camera that I use. So the work behind me is a photograph that I took, and I decided instead of having it displayed on photographic paper, I would display it on canvas. If I'm painting, I decide what colors I want to use based on how I feel emotionally. If I'm doing photography, um, I'm more interested in uh, capturing uh, a place in time or a woman uh, who is at work. Um, I've just finished a, uh, an exhibition at the Tolerance Education Center about encountering women. Um, and uh, it's about women that I photographed all over the world doing their work. The reason I like the desert is that it, it's kind of a bland area for the most part. It, you see a lot of kind of pale uh, grays and beiges, and so if you're working here, you can add color to that, which is something that I've experienced all over the world with women and their dress. If they're living in an arid area, they need some emotional pickup in their lives, and so they're, they usually dress in very vivid colors. And if you're out here, 
I think that it lends itself to adding color and making it a more exciting place. I, I work a lot on the on the floor like Jackson Pollock has and um, I find that uh, the colors in the morning are more refreshing to me. Right now I'm working on two large landscapes. Um, they should take approximately 16 days to complete. They are of the desert, of course. When I work on large canvases, I work in my studio. And when I work on smaller ones, then I go out into the desert and work on location. When I paint in the summer, it's quite hot, and we only paint in the morning. But in the winter, it's beautiful all day long. You can paint until the afternoon shadows begin. This painting was painted near Anza Marengo. They have uh, the Ocotillo out there. Uh, when they're in bloom, it's almost like a red horizon. Light in the desert is one of the things that make it so special. The light in the desert is like no place else. And the best time to paint is early in the morning or late in the afternoon. When painting with a group, it's always fun because you pick up the energy of them also. And then you can compare each other's work. We might all be looking at the same thing, but we all interpret it differently. When I start a, paint, a painting, to me what's important is usually the beauty of the scene. And I try to interpret it. I don't paint it exactly what I see but I come close. I might move a rock to make a better composition, move forward or move backward a bush. But basically, I try to choose a scene that is beautiful. I guess I would describe my work as being somewhere between realism and impressionism. Uh, this is my third year for the home tour, and it's always been a very positive experience. Uh, people are enthusiastic. There are quite a few crowds that come. They start early and the last person to leave was five o'clock. How you doing? Thank you for coming to my studio house. My name is Mario Picus. What I do, I use uh, Harley Davidson parts and airplane parts. I go to the airport, I have a lot of friends in the neighborhood that they have planes and parts that they don't use. And they keep changing them, they give it to me. And uh, my paintings, I use the best canvas in the world. And uh, the paints are from Holland too. And uh, if I don't use the best materials, it's no point. And I have all the white empty canvases all around me. And then I start working, it just happened. Rancho Mirage uh, somehow has a mystique of the desert. It's a magic place. I, I, I was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I went to the fine arts school for like two days. I couldn't take it because it was too formal and I like to express myself. I've been painting since I was uh, uh, eight years old. I won my first prize in Buenos Aires in La Galleria Picasso. I paint on Belgian linen and the color. The color and the forms, they have to balance because if the form is wrong and overwhelming, the color doesn't work. And the same thing with the color. If it is way too strong, you totally throw the, the, the painting out of balance. Hi, my name is Rita Steffen, and I'm a painter. I paint in oil and acrylic, and I call my work Moods in Color. I hopefully can draw people into my work and look at my paintings and feel uh, either a, a, a calmness uh, or maybe they can get a little bit excited because the colors are really strong. Actually, painting in oil, I prefer. Painting in acrylic, it is a plastic uh, media and it dries very very quickly. I was seven years old when my parents moved here. The beauty is just incredible. 
when I went to the, my first year of university, it was at the University of Edinburgh, Scotland, and I was able to take some dynamic art courses there. So I always said once I retired, I retired as a teacher, that I would start painting, so that's what I've done. I've had so many phenomenal experiences. I was very fortunate to be part of this program last year. It was my first year, and the people were phenomenal. All of the people came through my home. Just people, I appreciate them so much. Hi, my name is Jim Ritchie. I'm one of the artists on the tour this year. I participated last year and it really was a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to it once again. It's so much fun to do this tour. It's uh, enjoyable to have people come in and see the work and talk to me about it. It's always encouraging. It really uh, is quite the inspiration. The Coachella Valley is such a wonderful place. I, um, being a photographer, it's uh, endless amounts of inspiration. Everything from the beautiful desert, the, the high desert, the salt and sea, and uh, the architecture. I'll be showing a couple of uh, series uh, of the Salton Sea, a uh, series on the desert, and a series on black and white abstract architecture. Uh, you'll be coming to my home, which is my studio, uh, which is a mid-century modern home. Uh, so I hope uh, you guys enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. I look forward to seeing you all. Thanks again.